Hey guys, it's your pontiff. How are you today? It's it's Monday. It's Monday, 9.30 in the morning. It's Monday, 2021. This is the first day back at work for most beaters. Beaters and myself included. I'm back in the job. Obviously, it's Sunday in America. Now, let's get our regulars on. Let's get the link happening. Let's get this show on the road. That's what we like to do. Let's get the regulars on here. Uh, I'm just getting the, the, the invite out. We'll get this invite out. We'll get these guys on the show. Watch Cardinal. Who is this guy? Let's have a look. Who is he? I don't know who he is, but we'll have a, a look here. Watch Cardinal. Who is he? Hello, hey, who is this? Oh, it's Marco. Hey, oh, Marco, sorry. changed your name. That's cool, man. That's cool. No, it's it's my bad, Pontiff. It's because my other uh, YouTube uh, channel is Not banned on in your chat for some reason. So I have to use my second account, which is this one. Are you joking? Which one got banned? What the hell happened? My Marco one. It's so annoying. I don't know why. I, who did that? I have no idea. That's not even funny. That's just ridiculous. Nasty and it wasn't me. Fun. Before you point the finger, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me, I promise. Well, who, who would do that to Marco? Young guy? He just I've only ever timed you out for putting Amiga ahead of Rolex. Okay, just keep an eye on it. I'll just un just keep talking. Guys, I want to tell you, um, I really want to tell you the importance of uh, Rolex. Is Rolex really that amazing? Do we always come back to Rolex? That's today's question. Is it that amazing? I got to tell you, as much as I hate I'm going to talk to you, Juan. I... Yep. What? Mate, I can tell you Sorry. from experience. When I, when, I picked up that, when I picked up that Daytona from Ronnie, and he goes, okay, he sort of – what he did was I walked in there. It was late in the afternoon, and um, I'm like, I oh, – and he goes, are you here to see anyone? Like I didn't, like he didn't know what I was there for. And then he's laughing. He pulls it out. Yeah. He pulls out the Daytona. <laughs> and um, and I'm like, oh my god, oh, I, you know, a big build up. But when I tried it on, it was really yeah. like it was underwhelming. But then I thought to myself, he's like, if you don't like it, you know, don't get it. Someone else will buy it. But I thought this hey, is look, probably my only chance Tim, to, to get Tim's one. You know. Going, hey, going, what's up, guys? Hey, what what's up, fun? Tim Wright. I'm camping. I'm in the tent. Coming to you live. Wife with you? No, no, it's just by myself. What? What? Okay, yeah. Okay, tune in tomorrow. What's, what's I the point didn't of wanna... being married if you're by yourself? I don't understand. What What the hell? She didn't want to come. She didn't want to come. I don't blame her. It's cold and horrible. You should be in bed with her at home. <laughs> it's pretty horrible. <laughs> what the hell, man? Are you out of your mind? The only reason you go yeah, yeah. camping is for the girls. Yeah, she's got to be there to warm you up, right, Pony? I don't understand this guy. What's going on, man? <laughs> got my Rolex Explorer on. Oh, my God. This is really... Tim Roy, that's, that's so a really cool. strange thing to do when you got a beautiful wife to go camping by I yourself. Mean, why Come would on. You do that, man. Oh, Marco, I'm unbanning you. Thanks, that's man. Ridiculous. Appreciate Who banned you? Who the hell? And I'm going to make you a mod. Let's make you a mod. What a guy. You're being wrenched, you, smart guy. By the way, Pontiff, I wanted to ask you, is it time to get Lolex back on the stream for a reunion show? Yeah, look. You Come on, Pontiff, it's got to happen. Look, I don't understand what went wrong. I never understood this. Marco, he hasn't you... been banned. He just doesn't want to come on. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to message him on WhatsApp right now. You have a super chat. Somebody buy me a drink. Let's have a look here. What's going on? Bobby, California. Three bucks. And we've got Louis the 15th. Bobby, California. Three bucks. Ah, ETA, Tudor, Black Bay's a bad buy at 4K. Damn right. Placeholder. Get expensive. Rolex. It's a little expensive, but they are very collectible. Um... Look, I look, look. I don't know the American market. 
a little high. It seems a little high, in my opinion. What do you think, JJ? I heard you whispering there. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit high, I think. What makes it so special? I mean, th these were the, these were the first generation. Yeah, that's what makes them collectible, though. No partner. People like that smiley text, you know, the yeah. smiley. Yeah, and they 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 had the non faux rivet bracelet. I think that's a big part of it. A lot of people hate those faux rivets. I don't know. Okay. Once you can pick them up all day long in Australia for three and a half grand, guys. That's what I thought. Car fun, or oh, maybe four now. Four Rosie, yeah, but cheap not cheap. US. Two, two bucks, car fun. How much to ban Tim W? No. He's lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, I I, kinda, I, I don't well, understand what's going on there, do you? Look, this was a dumb, dumb, stupid idea. Don't do it, guys. You're freezing your ass off Are all you along. by yourself? Yep. Why would you do this? Can I ask you? You're by yourself? You got friends with you? No, no, I'm by myself. Well, I'm testing Why, what some What made you want to do this? But where are you exactly, Tim, right? You know, I'm on Suffering <laughs> Bear Trail. <laughs> oh, read this super chat from Mr. Two, partner. Mr. Two, eight bucks. Tim, hiding under a sheet at home is not true. <laughs> are you in a rigid tent? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Listen, camping out under the Brooklyn Bridge is not camping, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> busted, hey, by the way, Tim Ryan, you've been busted. I did two ten. You know what I was, I was talking with Showcase before the, the show? What if you get a Seamaster 300 on a rubber, rubber? And then you buy an aftermarket mesh bracelet. That's a good sub alternative, and it's pretty inexpensive. I don't like aftermarket bracelets. Yeah, but they make them like decent. I mean, there's a lot of good quality options to be fair. Mm. I I I I don't know if I'd do that. What are you talking about, Marco? <laughs> Will they ever yeah, get rid know. of the helium escape valve? That's I mean, what I want to know. Seamasters, uh, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Louis the 15th, hello, Louis. Hello, Louis. I don't know where he's going. Hey, what's up, Art? How's it going, boys? Hey, what's going on, Louis? Going on, Louis? Hey, Louis, Louis the 15th. You guys, you guys hear me? Hey, what's yes, up, Art? Hey, what's going on there? Louis the Fifteen. Land clear, Louis. Hey, what's up, Bart? Oh, Jesus. Louis, you gotta turn the background noise off, Louis. You gotta, you gotta turn the background noise off, Louis. Otherwise, it's gonna. Yeah, we've always got to explain this to newbies who come on the show. Ah, uh, okay. Let's talk there. Rolex itself there, I want to ask you guys something. Is Rolex that amazing? Do we always come back? I got to tell you, is it, is it really that amazing? It is pretty amazing. It's amazing that it doesn't lose value. It is amazing that it, 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 um, it holds up. It's just durable. It's not the best at anything, but it, it itself is the ultimate utilitarian sort of watch. If it wasn't great, why would so many people it? my Ocean, after about three years, mate, four years, I had to get that serviced. But none of my Rolexes, mate, are even close to needing a service. You know what I mean? Interestingly enough, you know that, what's that show, Watchfinder? They did a, um, a, um, a video on Rolex and they were saying Rolexes were for affordable and I thought to myself Rolexes have never really been affordable mm. they said oh in 1953 when the sub came out they were they were quoted it was four hundred dollars but you got to remember in 1953 that was a lot of money a lot of money a lot yeah, of money 400 bucks is not cheap the point so of the average Rolex, Rolex retail is one month's wages yeah, yeah. Rolex has always been a very so that is affordable. No, but I remember retail. Like, it is affordable. 
Tim, I've seen those, uh, what's it called? You know, like those auction uh, house videos where like, people, like I remember this guy, I believe he was an ex-military. He had a sub and he said he had to like save up 10 months worth of his military pay to get the sub. Now that was a GMT, Marco, that was, was a GMT. GMT. Yeah, yeah, it was a GMT. There you yeah, go. it was a Pepsi. Yeah. Mr. Two, eight bucks. Be careful, Tim. Bear Clooney will be out looking for food soon. He likes soy <laughs> 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 uh, uh, That's a great comment. I, I got to tell you guys, seriously, is Rolex that great? Uh, we, we've heard... JJ, JJ, you're a bit quiet today. By the way, JJ, let's have a talk after the show about your paddock question, okay? Okay, all right. Because I still okay. want to do the video for you. All right. Yeah, I actually only have really one quick question about it anyway, but I just figured... <laughs> I'll yeah, ask you chat. afterwards. We'll have a chat at the end. Okay, You'll sounds good. Always, always do extras for you guys. Hey, right. look at this. I've got a... Look at that beautiful sub. We've got MJT. Huh? This is my, my guy. MJT, $10. We won't be seeing Jeff huh. again. He has been let go by oh. HQ. MJT. By the way, MJT, I am so looking forward to the Pepsi. I tell you what, MJT, <laughs> it looks like I've gotten rid of the uh, the pesky paddock. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep money aside. You just let me know, MJT. No rush. No rush. Just let me know. I don't want to hassle you, but i got to tell you, if ever there's proof that uh, MJT is from head office, he got me the sub. You get the Pepsi. I mean, that's just all the proof you need, you know. No question at all. Jeff's Jeff, been let go. Oh. Jeff just got the corner office. I don't think they're going to let him go anytime soon. Very cool. MJT, man, he's he's helped me. That's that's his paddock. He's got the new World Time White Gold. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. He's, uh, I'm really looking. i, I got to tell you, I really do love my... If I didn't get this through him, how would I get a sub date? You tell me. No one else came through. Nobody else came through. You'd have to pay the pipe the... upon us. You, you know what actually acted as my inspiration for this watch? There's a channel called um, Four by Overlander. It's got a South African guy called Andrew St. Pierre White. He does off-roading videos, you know, four-wheel drives, stuff like that. Okay. And he has always had a Rolex sub. He said he had his first job. Mm. He saved and saved to get a Rolex sub. He's got a 1680. And it just looks so cool on his wrist. He just, just wears it everywhere. You know what I mean? And I thought, you know what? It's not two-tone. It's steel date. That's just the perfect man's watch. It's just such a... Um, it's just such a... You just wear it. Wear it. I wake up in the morning, I just put my Rolex on. That's all I do. I don't need to think, <laughs> oh, well, what goes with my, my purple inside shirt today, man? You know, just wear the yeah, Rolex. Yeah, you're no Rolex soy boy, Pontus. You're no, you're no soy boy, man. You're a man. You know, I got to say, the biggest criticism for the sub, people say, oh, it's so plain. It looks like everybody has it. But the beauty is in the simplicity of it, you know, that you can do anything with it. That's the beauty behind it. You, you know, also that. Yeah, that's because everybody's glass. copied it, JJ, because everybody's copied the sub. It looks like a really common watch. That's because mm -hmm. every other brand is just used as a template. That's why. Here we right. go. Showcase watches five pounds. Tim, you one weird dude, man. You got books, but don't know what euro is. You got beautiful wife, but still need $500 cent, and you sleep in a tent alone. Showcase, I could not have put it better myself. <laughs> Hey, Pranav, show us your scratches on the subby, mate. I want to see some scratches. My scratches? I got no scratches. Yeah. I, I just wear it. It's, it's indestructible. But your one seems to have a few scratches. That's because I wear it, mate. Go. Hiking, up mountains, Frank skateboarding, Garage everything. Says 493 is only $3,898 in $2020. However, don't forget, in 1953, there was no credit cards. You had to pay. You had to save up and pay. There wasn't easy access to credit like today. So those figures can be a bit deceptive. 
but you're right, you're right there. Chip Wong, two bucks. Anyone here planning on buying the Ed Shite? The Ed White? Oh. That's the one Showcase is getting, right? With the three yeah, to one? Yeah, Showcase is getting it. That's good. Look, look, it, it's, it's, it's a beautiful watch. I love Omega. It angers me. Rolex, I gotta be honest with you, for as much as I hate the brand at times, they do make a good watch. Do if the NY was impossible to get, I might watch. consider it. Um, mm. I think Omega is now the new watch, the affordable kind of luxury watch enthusiast brand. It's replaced Rolex in that in that regard. Oh, I don't know. Mm. If I, oh, let me think. I can't stomach that. Can't no, what are you talking about, Marco? That. Come on, man. Get no, off the affordable. Crack line, I said affordable, affordable, I like think, attainable. I think the and it's not bad available. You, know, you can get a 36 mil date just. That's always going to be affordable. There's ways to get in. If you're prepared to not get the cool models, you can still get into Rolex. It just depends whether you're prepared to do that or not. You know? I, Somewhat... think, I think Tim might be a plant as well because look at this. It's like a movie. You know, like they have these movies in America. <laughs> The guy lives in a house he could really never afford. He's got just a normal lower middle class job and he seems to earn money like an investment banker. I think Marco could be made up. You know that? He's a product placement to just show hiking and next week we'll do deep sea diving. You know? Hey, Pontiff. And Tim Wright is just a hologram, Pontiff. Exactly. Yes, yes, Marco. Post the link in the chat. We got a special guest coming on. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Rolex. Here we go. Here we go. Mr. Two, eight bucks. And I thought my internet search field was weird. I find myself on this watch channel with a guy in a tent alone with a light attached to his head. <laughs> and uh, showcase watches, two pounds. Bearded lady officially hates me. Bless him. My God, what happened? Oh. Oh. I saw that last oh, night. Speak of, he called speak of Lolex. Lolex, please. Called... What's going on, guys? He called Showcase. The bearded lady called Showcase retar a retard. Oh, yeah, no, it was no, pretty. It was pretty that? bad. That's disgusting, Showcase. Um, I'll tell you what. Bearded lady's got a lot of problems at the moment. Chip yeah. Wong, two bucks. Omega equals compromise. Watchful woke soy boy. Look, I got to tell you, I actually. I actually kind of like Omega because Rolex is so hard to get. Lolex, how are you, man? What's up, Archie? How you been? Hey, man, I'm hey, sorry Rolex. about the paint. I didn't realize the seven grand paint option you were sensitive about. <laughs> no, nah, man, how's it going? How are you? Hey, hey man, I'm, I'm great. I wear Rolex. I yeah? wear Rolex. You're warming up hey, to the man. watch now? Look, I got to tell you, seriously, um, look, I... I think, I think Rolex is such a strong brand. It just, you don't have to worry. What are you wearing today? You just wear Rolex, you know? Oh, it's the perfect everyday watch. No question. And you got your sub I on today, to Rolex? Oh, definitely. I've been wearing it a lot more now. I haven't been wearing it that much, but I'm rocking it now. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. There you go. And how Can I be you honest with Tacoma? you? Did you get the Tacoma yet? No, I'm putting the I'm putting the brakes on that one. I'm just gonna ride around in my car for right now. No, no, don't do that. Get the Tacoma. If there's money, just do it, man. You got a high paid job. <laughs> I'm just saving. I'm she saving likes. money right now. Two percent money. Can I can I tell you something though? So I've been noticing because I've been wearing. We heart you, that? Rolex. <laughs> I love you we too. We heart you, mate. So I've we just love been you. noticing. I've been wearing my watch around a lot lately. I gotta be honest with you. I wish it had a date. Like, if I'm being in Marco, you just upgrade it. Upgrade a date. Upgrade. I'm telling you, Marco, you're talking about getting an Explorer One, right? Yeah. Get a, a, a date. date a date oh. is pretty useful if you're gonna actually wear it. We could get, I maybe told maybe Marco I'd get Explorer Two. Explorer Two. It might. Yeah, if you, and you got big wrists, don't you? The perfect watch. No, I have big wrists. I have small. Sorry, I have, I have small wrists. Uh, Here we uh, go. Watch stop date. and roll two Telling bucks. You. Walk into an AD with a hot model. How should one act? You mean a hot model as in a girlfriend? 
<laughs> well, I, I see model. someone made a video about that and they said it made no difference. I don't think it makes any difference. I don't think makes it makes no difference. difference. I've walked in with my Daytona, it doesn't matter they, one bit. They don't care. They refused to give me a brochure and I had the sub date on. That's the hardest model to get. You should have mm. just took it. Just walk out with it. What are they going to say? Yeah, you should have just sneezed on it or something or oh, coughed on it. Unless wait, you're wait, the son what, of an what oligarch. What like Tim Wright, they don't care. They wouldn't give me... I went there to get the new catalog because my watch is in the new catalog. Wait, you mean like the booklets with the, with the new releases? Yeah, yeah, yeah like on the said, counter. Oh, you're sorry, sir. Those are for in-store viewing only. They wouldn't give you the catalogs that they give away for free no. in the store? Not in Australia, Lolix. Wow. Not in Australia, mate. That's you crazy. You got to hey guys, I'm gonna head back. I'll talk to you later. Hey, have a great I'll show. See you later, man. Right. Later, plastic. Love, love you. Love you, plastic. plastic. Man, he's good. Chip Wong. Here plastic. We go. Here we go. Chip. Which one's first? Chip Wong. Here yeah, we go. Chip Five Wong. bucks. What's a bigger compromise? Gay sex in prison or buying a Tudor and Omega and pretending it's as good as <laughs> Rolex? <laughs> yeah, but the difference is, Pana, we don't try and pretend it's as good as Rolex. We just love it for what it is. Yes. Rolex. Very true. You don't love Rolex for what it is. You like the status, the the brand, the value retention. And I've been watching people. prison shows, by the way. I like a bit of poverty porn. <laughs> and it's not considered homosexuality if you're having fun in jail. Yeah. So Why not? A lot of people would disagree with that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not. I'm it's not gay if you don't I've kiss them. <laughs> I, what, by the way, guys, I've been learning about, you know, you guys in Canada, you got special cars. You had an Arca Arcadia, the Chevy Arcadia. You had the Pontiac Parisian. You had the Super B, a Super B. You had some great cars. I'm watching Rust Brothers, Rust Brothers on Netflix. Do, do you, any of you guys watch that? No. You know no, who I watched no. today? Scotty Kilmer. I've, I've been looking at the Forerunner, and he has a lot of Forerunner videos. Yeah, he says they're good, doesn't he? Yeah, like if you buy a used one. I've been looking into buying a used, like, uh, four-wheel drive. Cause, you know, what? You're going to buy a sensible car? What? Uh, only, because <laughs> I, only because I'm thinking about getting the Corvette, and I need something. And he's going to park it inside. <laughs> yeah, I need something. He's going to get a Forerunner and park it, on, park it inside. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh man, you got a super chat here. I don't know if you're ready. Stop watching roll. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, so that, that we've we've done. Sorry, what's what's what are we going here? We go first, first. name. Was that a super chat? Let's have a look here. Yep. Have... yep. Eight, yeah, okay, nine, here nine. we go. First name, last name. New Zealand. Nine bucks. Hey Arch. Any upcoming vids with the sucker horn? Apology if it if not if but watch if it's not watch related. Of course, Sucker Horn, me and him, we do vids all the time. I would love to do a vid. He's just been busy. He's got the... It's 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 Melbourne's in lockdown. Um, it is what it is there, you know. Um, no, no, no. I, I'm not adverse to doing vids. Rich Buddy saying, what kind of service costs will that new vet have after warranty? Good question. Better than mine. That's uh, for sure. I live for the moment, Rich Buddy. I'm not worried. <laughs> I worry about that in three years. Ponif, you missed one super chat from Stop Watch and Roll, by the way. Oh, Stop Watch and Roll. Thank you so much. Uh, $2. Can you ask Lolex what color paint is on the Porsche car? Be nice, guys. Be nice. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, I think it's called something Volcano. The actual factory name. I don't know it off the top of my head. Something Volcano. MJT. Here we go. Five bucks. I'm in Brisbane. Cool. Cool. Here we go. MJT. Five bucks. I'm in Brisbane. Going to Hourglass and Langford's today. Should I drop your name, Arch, or is that not a good strategy? Hey, man, it put it this way, MJT. If you're from head office, you mention my name. You mention it. <laughs> can, we, can we touch on the last comment about, like, Tudor being GMT, uh, mistaken for Rolex? I mean, I have the Tudor GMT, and I don't mistake it for Rolex at all. I purposely got it as a watch I could use a little more rough. You know what I mean? So I don't mess up my Rolex. Exactly. Yeah. You love it for what it is. Yeah, it has its place, like you know. Hey guys, real quick, what's like going on? What's yeah. going on with the guy at the top here? What's I, he's sleeping in a bag? What's oh, going Lolex? on? Lolex hasn't seen Tim yet. That's what right. What the fuck is this? Hi, Lolex. What's going on? What's going on, Tim? What are you doing? I'm coming to you guys from top of the mountain. 
Oh my Tim god. Is, Lolex, you know what Tim outside. is like? Tim what is, is like the guy. Lolex, Tim is like the guy like on the news where they send the weatherman out in the middle of the storm. <laughs> and he's like, I'm coming to you live from a hurricane. That's Tim's job on the show. Have you guys seen 127 wearing... hours? That's what that's what Tim looks like right now. That's what it looks <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, Malik Diamond, $10. What Here we go. Feeling. Here's one for you, JJ. There we go. New C8s have valve issues. Already have two motors apart at my shop. Ooh. Okay, so let me ask you, what do you guys recommend as, let's say I'm going to buy a sensible, like, under 20,000 US SUV for the snow and all the weather up here, but for a fun sports car to replace the Corvette, what do you guys recommend? Let's see uh, if anyone responds. Ooh, I like this. Look, I got to tell you, man, I tell you honestly, you've got to, I love European cars, right? Right. I think you guys have got porsche you know they're amazing but you gotta you gotta admit american muscle you know like the camaro mm. the mustang you've got such you know you've got such amazing cars they're at amazing prices do you but like muscle arch do you like american muscle or are you more like european style in my country Muscle cars are absolutely ridiculously priced. They're, They're exactly so really? expensive, yeah. you know. Everything, just get these super chats. Calatrava Jubilee, 5924. Five bucks. Happy birthday, Louis. AC3, can we get a happy birthday song? Is it your birthday, Louis? Happy birthday to Come you. Come on, Tim, happy get Happy birthday, <laughs> Louis. Happy birthday to you. Showcase watches, five bucks. Lolex, when I joined AC3 stream, I got ripped for having my Rolex Hulk stolen. It's just banter and ball breaking. You need thick skin and good shrink. <laughs> Thanks, Showcase. You got your Hulk stolen, though? Yeah, you got his he's Hulk stolen? Door open. Oh. Whoa. That sucks. That's crazy. Yeah. Car fun, two bucks. May need to ask you about Lisbon, Portugal. Any thoughts? Ooh, Portugal is so beautiful, Pana. And the food is so good. Especially the seafood. Who's who's going there? Who's going there? I don't get the reference, sorry. I think it's just asking you your thoughts about it. You know? I never been there. I never been. I never been. But man, it's they got some good beautiful women there. I can tell you that. <laughs> Mr. Two, eight bucks. I'm waiting for Tim's wife to lift the bed ship. She had to offer him a coffee. Before uh, he returns to playing with his toy army men, pew pew <laughs> bang bang. Yes, you know, I, I was thinking the same thing. I was waiting for to get pulled up. Hey, it's a I wish I was home right now. Oh, oh my god. JJ, it's a welcome difference from his uh, wannabe Joe Rogan experience setup from before. <laughs> with the 800 <laughs> books in the background. <laughs> I I tell you, it's, Tim is uh, like I said in his first time he came on. He's a man of mystery, and I and I like to yeah. stick with that. Bring some different content. Anthony R, two bucks. Lolex, get <laughs> out, but J J. Yeah, we know that one, Anthony. Rolex. Okay. Look, I gotta tell you, Ed, Ed, Rolex, it's good to have you back, man. Yeah, good man. I felt bad back. how that how that all ended, Arch. Yeah. Look, man. I tell you honestly, you know what? Just get the Tacoma. It's a beautiful truck. I'll be honest. With you, I want a second watch, man. Get more Rolex. Get more Rolex. I want, I want something with a date on it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Explorer I reckon? Too polar. That no, awesome. I think something else. Get a nice Wimbledon dial data. because they're gonna get discontinued cool. soon. I heard. That could be a cool. Friend of mine just got one. Oh, this is great. Two bucks. Yesterday's deliverance. Today, Tony. Blair Witch Pro today Blair Witch Project. Yes. <laughs> Nobody really caught the deliverance from yesterday when when uh, Plastic told Marco he's gonna make him squeal like a pig. I think what the fuck? That. What have yeah. I been missing, dude? <laughs> Here we go. Ennard Atia, seven dollars. Tim's Kafkasik absurdity is alarming. Yes. Yes, yes Tim Jong Un. Tim Jong Un. Yes. They tell you, of course, all these watches. So wait, Archie, what's going on with um, MJT? Is he gonna, is he gonna hook you up with a another watch? Look, um, 
I've actually, it looks like the paddock, the, the double up has, is going to sell, set, settle this week. Really? I've got another friend of mine who's offered me a Z Blue. Yes. I okay. want a no date. Just like you want a date, I want a no date. Oh my God. Good to have <laughs> options. Good to yeah, have that's options. True. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the Z Blue. Yeah. And I'll keep the money, the extra money from the paddock sale, ready to pounce on the Pepsi when it's available. Do you think, do you think MGT would be able to get you a Daytona? Look, <laughs> I'm happy to have a Pepsi, to be completely honest. I mean, yeah, Pepsi, of course. You know, I, I kind of, look, 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 I, I, I uh, let's get the Pepsi and just see how we're going, you know? Yeah, that's smart. I just, Definitely. Uh, I don't, uh, Joe Kramer, $5. Ahoy, Archie. I have overdosed on ketamine and I'm going to die. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Ketamine. What the hell is ketamine? Cat tranquilizer. Yeah. Oh, I see. Ooh. Yeah, but Lolex, I just want to say one thing. Like before you get too down on the no date, like you go one thing you gotta really appreciate is the wind and wear. Very easy. Yeah, the, the wind yeah. and wear is amazing. Man. Never have to Very worry about true. setting it, you know. But it's not a good one watch though. Yeah, I hear you. I hear it's you. Not, you need a date. No, 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 no. Mr. Two, eight bucks. Tim, can you do a live stream from Oklahoma tomorrow? I hear it's a very dangerous place which with high levels of bitchiness and over the top drama. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Two. We gotta get Showcase on, man. Showcase, come on. Yeah, we'll, we'll just, I'll just post the link there again. Hey, JJ, by the way, how does that Wimbledon they just wear? Have you gone back to it? What do you mean? How, did, how does it, how does how it, it wear? Come back? Compared oh, it wears very similar to the day date, and um, you know it's only one millimeter bigger. It's exactly the same, but I, I still wear it a lot. I still wear it. I rotate it all, all the time. I okay. gotta tell you, because I know you were thinking. Say this. Let me say yeah. this, guys. Whatever you don't have, you want. You know what? I, Lolex, it's funny. You know, I, I just, to me. The no date sub is beautiful. It's probably a bit more cooler than the date sub, okay? Mm -hmm. But whatever you have, you want the other one. It's just it's just human instinct, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I mean, I mean, the no date sub, man, that that is an iconic watch. That is very very cool to have that watch. Um, I I think it's I think it's a beautiful watch. I mean, look, the date itself. The problem with the date is. You know, I reckon a perfect pair would be an Explorer 2 and a No Date Sub. Because you've got yes. one with a date, one without. One with, that would be pretty you know, sweet. One's a Diver and one's a GMT. You know, that's 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 kind of a, a perfect pair sort of thing to have. And and i got to tell you, sometimes in life, you're just never happy. You're just never happy. Um, MJT... Showcase, did I hear the other day you're getting a Apollo 11th 50th anniversary? I think he is, isn't he? Yep, tomorrow. He sure. should be getting it, he said. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I got to tell you, I, th I think I think the no date or a date sub, this is just so... Look, but if, whatever if you, you have, an, you want the other. If you have you know? an office yeah. job, you could get a date just and wear that in the office with the date all week and then have the sub as your weekend watch when you don't really Very care true. What, the, what the date is, you know? Very true. Yeah. I've been looking at... Date just too the um, the steel bezel one though smooth bezel I've been looking at those a little bit. And I tell you what, man, as soon as you trade in your no date for a date, oh, you're miss the no date. So no, 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 no. Why did I do that? Why no, I wouldn't trade it in. I would keep it. Just add. Yeah. You kidding me? If I got if I got rid of my no date sub, I would never be able to get another one. Yeah, that's an yeah impossible. impossible. It'd be impossible. What's, what's the go? Tell me this. Like in Australia, I tell you, at the moment things are ridiculous i had a friend of mine he walked into a rolex dealer in Chats, i think it's chatswood in melbourne melbourne and there, there are kennedy's and he said what instead of going through i want to steal sports he said what do you have available for sale today and he was told they had a platinum day date i think it might have been a 36. Oh boy. a gold day date on a leather strap and a ladies by metal, like two-tone. 
That was it. That was the three watches they had available. The situation is diabolical. What is it like in America? Are they, are they, are they seem to be coming in or, or what's happening? Um, I think there's stuff coming in, actually. I don't know about JJ on your end over there, but I get calls about watches still. Um, I got offered a Yacht Master. I got offered a Yacht Master. Yeah, it's a little soft. Um, Explorer 1s are pretty easy. Not easy to get, but if you can wait like two to three months, you can get an Explorer 1 in California. Lolex, get one for me and then ship it to one of my mom's friends. If you want, I could do that. I could definitely do that. Wait, what's California? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Mr. Two, eight bucks. I don't know if Tim was a Roll Omega fan. What? Create, recreating the moon landing with the sun attached to his forehead. <laughs> Where's the dark? Yeah, it does look like the surface of the moon, doesn't it? It, needs to uh, see this. it will all be worth it when a bear attacks him. <laughs> Let's hope not. I've seen some, uh, because it's uh, fresh snow, I've seen some animal tracks. Uh oh. You were joking Jesus. in the snow in a tent? Yeah. That is it's just. A foxes and something was bigger there. Why would you do that? Yeah. It's stupid. <laughs> it's a dumb, it was a dumb idea. North Star, what car did you take out there? Me? The Uber. Yeah. Yeah, just Uber it. <laughs> you Ubered it. No, well, because it's a one-way trail. Like, what, what am I gonna do? Leave the car at one end, and then what? I, that that's interesting. Ubering Uber to go camping. That's uh. Well, he doesn't have a car though, no. Yeah, but that's just very like you know. You don't hear that a lot. Yeah, usually guys who go camping have like four-wheel drive, like yeah. overland vehicles and <laughs> yeah. stuff. They don't Uber to Big the campsite. Knives and guns <laughs> in the back, you know. Right. Exactly. To scare off those. <laughs> North Star, 50, D DKK, Rolex Submariner price in 1972, approximately 240 US dollars, new registration plate for the Pontiff, Paddock and Pussy, thank you, thank you so much, North Star, Chip Wong, $2, welcome back, Rolex, glad you didn't act like a crappy, yes, he's very cool, Ooh, act like a crappy, and, <laughs> and showcase watches, two bucks, FMD, in tent in a in in snow in a tent, you don't look happy, Tim. Yeah, Tim. No, Uber no, no. Yeah, on. man. Spend the night with you. What? Mr. Two eight bucks. I'm only here still. It's pitch black here outside. Because I'm waiting for Bear Clooney to break through that thin <laughs> tent. <laughs> 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 Tim, are you alone in there? Yep. You're alone in a tent in the woods. Tim, yeah. take an Uber back to the white you, and sleep in your bed tonight. Come on. Have you not seen a horror movie in the past, I don't know, 100 years? It's crazy. <laughs> hey, Tim, oh, do, do you still have battery charge left? Maybe you could ring the wife and say, hey, I'm coming back. 20,000 milliamps, Pontus. Sorry? I, I said, I've got 20,000 milliamps. Oh, you could, what's that? Yeah. Sorry? A, a, a charger for the uh, phone charger. 20,000 milliamps. Oh, okay. He could stay out there for about three, four days if he wanted. Wow. Yeah. I think you Respect should, um, him. That's crazy. I think maybe, Tim, it could be good to go home, man. But, yeah. Uh, Tim, wrap it up. I don't have any more food idea. left. Wrap it up, Tim. Wrap it up. What wrap time it is it over there? It's 7 o'clock. At night? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you it's still got dark. time. What? I can't go. I know. You might as well just rough it at this point. Yeah, you just think? Just go home, Tim. It's just stupid. Tim, silly, okay? <laughs> I'm at the top of the mountain. So walk Danger. down and take an Uber back, Tim. Come on, man. Uh, take an Uber back to reality. <laughs> Do you have I'm any flares with you, Tim? Thing up. No, no, Do you have I'm any flares warm. with you? I'm pretty warm. Uh, I'm going to sleep the night, and in the morning, uh, I'm just going to go down and take the Uber home. Tim, you should get a Bretling emergency for situations Bretling like this. Bretling emergency? Yeah, you should have something like that. You can just pull last minute. I got the Explorer 2. Yeah, that'll help. <laughs> so it'll guide me to... Um, guys, I want to ask you guys something there. Is Rolex the... the? Do you always come back to Rolex? Because I do. I, yes. I left Rolex. I've left a number of times. I thought, you know, I want to try something else. And I always come back. 
It's the cornerstone of any collection. If anyone tells mm. you otherwise, they're compromising somewhere. Mm. You, have to have, you have to have at least one. Mr. Two, Edbox, Tim, you should have been more concerned why your wife was so keen for you to do this. <laughs> Is she already <laughs> claiming insurance? Already, <laughs> <being stuffed. laughs> the, the books have been donated to the library. And you better tell her those used fragrances are still sellable. They, they are. They are. <laughs> you better tell her that, okay? Yeah. Chip Wong, two dollars. Lolex, did you send Archie a rolled-up carpet for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, love the super chats, super chats, super Chip. Chats. Mr. Two, he's he's he's. Oh my God, Mr. Two, is roasting me. He's just a very cool guy. I gotta tell you, is Rolex the greatest brand? Look, I don't know. You know what? I um, tell me this, guys. You're in the hobby, right? Yeah. Are you going to change into other hobbies? Do you ever get sick of one hobby, go to another hobby? I do mm. all the time. Like yeah. Rolex. You're really into cars. You love your Porsche. Yeah. I mean, good on you. Good on you. I got to tell you, you, man. Here we go. Showcase watches five pounds. Love how Tim thinks you guys are the fools for thinking Uber cab to go camping in the snow in a bear infested woods was a dumb idea. Cool. <laughs> Tim, you're cool. Thank you. Oh, and okay. Saad. Look at this. Saad. $50. Your thoughts about the Breguet 7067 Ooh. white gold let's bring that baby up let's bring that baby up it's a breguet Bonner, that's the one that we were talking about the other day remember 7067 da -da -da -da. that's the one you or keep similar. mentioning is it's what size similar. is it uh i'm not sure this is a different model hold on let me search okay it okay okay let's let's just um let's get this one on the screen now the breguet the breguet Okay, so he, he wanted it in white gold. I got to tell you, um, 40 millimeters, 40. Okay, I thought because some of them. Okay, look, I got to tell you, honestly, mm. that's what I think of a breguet. It's a traditional breguet. Look, look, I tell you what I think there. I think honestly, my own opinion is it's absolutely amazing. That's watch candy. Okay, that is what mm. breguet does. Coin edging, that's look beautiful. at that coin edging. It's got the display movement. That's that is really the only thing with this, of course, is it's a dress watch, white gold. It's not steel. This is a delicate watch. It's a delicate watch for you know office wear. It's not as versatile as a Rolex, but it's no. an amazing watch. That watch. Yeah, it's got two time zones too, Pana. It's got a GMT. Oh, wow. it's got a second dial. This. Yeah. I think my friend has this one actually. It's the dual times. Look, it's an amazing watch. I'd prefer to buy it second hand. I wouldn't necessarily buy it new. Some of the, the Breguets fall a bit. It's amazing. That is absolutely. I think it's actually amazing bang per buck because if you think about it. What do those so, go for? Um, I, I, I think you can get them under 20, can't you? Yeah, they were very. I mean, there was. Uh, 7027, I think that was the model that we were looking at. It sells for like over 30 Canadian, and you can get them for 15, so literally half off. Wow. Yeah, I, I've got to tell you, Breguet themselves. Yeah, 28,000. Amazing. Amazing. Can you imagine? 28,000 Canadian, I'm talking. 35,000. That's a lot, but they're cool. 29,000. Well, I, mean, I mean, look, 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 look. It, it is what it is there. Um, I mean, it's not a hundred thousand. You, it looks like a hundred thousand dollar watch, don't you think? Yeah. That's yeah. There's one oh, brand sure. new on it, white gold, and it's selling for twenty eight thousand Canadian, about. Okay, got you, got you. So, low twenty. Look, I, I, I think it's an amazing watch. It's very, very amazing. M J T. This is my guy. Ten dollars. Ten. Keep up the dangerous stance, man. Just make sure they get progressively more dangerous. <laughs> they finally reach the rich buddy level if you keep it up. Thank you, MJT. Yeah. He's very cool. Look at this. That, that looks like the surface of the moon, doesn't it? It's amazing how that, that thing looks there, you know? He's, uh, man, you, you, you were one crazy guy. You know that? Can somebody buy me a drink? One, yeah, I got the Glenlivet 12. Oh, Send money to the pontiff. 
Wow, look at that. Look at that, man. That's you got you got everything. That's I can see. Yeah, I, no, I can't actually. I don't know why the hell you're doing that. But you like a bit of camping? You like camping? Yeah, he does. He I, I does. do. I do. He does. I got to tell you guys, seriously. Showcase watches two pounds. Eccentric Tim is such a cool guy. Love him. By the way, Pon, if you miss one from Toyota Mo up above. Oh, Toyota Mo. Thank you. Thank you. Toyota Mo, five bucks. What the fuck did I miss? Lolex is back and weird Tim in a tent only on the Archie Luxury Corporate channel. By the way, Marco, I need you to s later on, next time we're on air, I can't make you. I can't find you. You gotta send me your YouTube channel because then I can make you a moderator here. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, Marco should definitely be a moderator. Yeah, Marco's definitely a mod. make him a mod. Thanks, man. I mod. appreciate so, it. So just just remind me. Um, I gotta tell you guys seriously, Rolex. The thing I love. I took inspiration from this guy. He does the Andrew St. Pierre White. He does a lot of four wheel driving. He just wears a 1680. Now, I got to tell you, uh, in your case, Rolex. What's up? You, um. Thank you. I got to tell you, man, I always wanted, I always wanted a Cayman or a Boxster. I never even wanted a 911. I, well, I did, but I always liked the idea. I remember when they launched the Boxster. I got what the year was that? For the first like 96? Model. Oh, you do? Yep. Yeah, oh, I remember cool. reading the car reviews, and I, I remember saying to a friend of mine, what would you get? Because they had the Z3 came out, the, the Mercedes SLK came out, and the Boxster. And we all agreed the Boxster was the best of the lot. Um, I thought people it, hated them when they first came out. No, 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 no. They loved them. They loved The only people who hated them were people who couldn't afford them. <laughs> See, that's so true that's honestly <laughs> the only people that talk shit like say like oh you couldn't get a 911 are the people who don't have cars yeah, essentially yeah. they have a, a yeah. corolla yeah yeah what do you think about yeah. the 718 spider would you rather that over the new vet they're about the same price look i'd get the I vet tell you, honestly mm. i tell you honestly as far as vets go the cool factor of a vet is amazing oh, yeah well, there's a one-year wait list just to get it, so that's saying something. The only problem about the vet is, can I say this to you without getting offended? No, I'll go ahead. I don't care. General Motors quality has never been that brilliant. I agree. Mm. You know, like their quality, like the switch gear in it, the plastic, they just try and nickel and dime everything. How can we make this plastic switch 10 cents cheaper? How yep. can we make, you know, and, and eventually the car becomes garbage. You know, or... Nope. All the I've actually looked at a few vets. A friend of mine, Brian from Zircon, he had a few vets. He had a Coca-Cola and he had the 80s one. And he got me to look at a few secondhand. And one thing about 80s, 90s vets is they've all got the interior looks so dated. The plastic switch gear is yep. garbage. I mean, yeah, these they... are cars that are babied. If a car is in Australia, those vets were big, 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 big money. But I gotta tell you, Scotty Kilmer actually reckons the new one's not so great. Yeah, a lot of people say there's been problems. Um, yeah, I just like the look of it. I think they came a long way from the previous models. It looks models. amazing. Yeah. What do you think of an NSX, a Honda NSX as a supercar? Uh, I think that's uh, Nissan. Yeah. yeah, Nissan. No, no, Honda, Honda, Honda. Okay. Honda makes an NSX? In America, yeah. we have the Nissan NSX. I don't know the about Acura. a Honda. The, the Ac Ac Acura, Acura, it's an Acura. It's oh, not a Nissan. Oh, the Nissan the makes the NSX. Z, the 370Z. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nissan has the Z cars. Those are cool. Those are pretty cool. No, no, Porsche. I'm a Charlie. I'm a North Charlie. Star 550 DKK Rolex Submariner. In, in, oh, we already did that one, didn't we? Mm. No, it's a new Super Chat, though. Oh, it's a new Super Chat. Here we go. Rolex mm. Sub in 972, 240 US should equal to 1600 in 2021 money agree look no it doesn't because those things you look at what a house cost then what does the house cost now i think those figures can be deceptive mm -hmm. yeah uh, that's yeah. inflation compact people think that two percent inflation is just two percent per year but it compounds right so 
Ex hey guys, I'm gonna be back. I just gotta take a quick toilet break. I'll be yeah. right back. North Star, that never really makes sense. Cover That's me, only if the doesn't compound. So because it compounds, then it's yeah. worth a lot more than I mean, 14 months. Speaking of money, guys, sorry, I don't mean to butt in, but Go JJ, on. I know you. I know you, JJ, and Marco, like, you hit the stock market a lot. What do you think about 2021? I know 2020 was, like, a good year for a lot of people who put money into the market. What do you think about, is it going to be the same in 2021, or do you see, like, a, a crash? Or You go first, JJ. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about this crash. Um, I don't see it happening. Usually when people talk about a crash this much, it never crashes. Um I know some guys that are pretty big, um, you know, like the hedge fund managers for like multi, multi million dollar, like, you know, hedge funds. And they say they see like a five to 10 percent correction coming in the next like two months. Oh, six, really? Three months. Yeah. But beyond five, 10 percent correction, they, they don't see a crash. And other people say they don't even see that, that as long as they keep pumping out stimulus and uh, the dollar weakens, you know, assets rise. So that's why real estate's so expensive. Bitcoin's going through the roof. You know, the, I mean, you could throw a dot at a stock and, and make money nowadays. It's like nothing's down, really. Um, so I, I, I would say at, at worst, 10%. Uh, I only see one guy saying that we're going to super cycle and have like an 80% like, you know, crash. But, yeah. I mean, uh, I've, I've heard a lot of people, JJ, be bearish on the market. Like I know Jim Cramer is pretty bearish. Um, uh, there's a lot of people that are like prediction, predicting like a W, but they've been predicting a W now for like months. So yeah. I don't know how much like weight I put into their predictions anymore. Cause mm -hmm. if you say something long enough, eventually it's going to happen. Right. But, well, um, look, you know, look, like, it's hard to say, honestly, if you want to start getting invested, my, my thing is, is you can just average in maybe to an S and P 500 index fund, mm -hmm. average into the market. You know, you buy like slowly over time. Maybe if the price drops a little bit, you buy a bit more. If the price increases, maybe you hold off or you can keep buying into it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, there's no like secret formula, right? For I mean, me, time in the market always beats timing the market. So, you know, as long as you invest in stable companies that have good cash flows that are that are reliable and decent, I, I think you can't go wrong in the long run, at least. Well, I, th I think we should definitely say, you know, obviously we're not um... – you know, professional uh, investors. So don't listen to us morons out there, everybody. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is purely yeah. for entertainment purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. We should I was have about, yeah. frame out there. I was about oh, to draw yeah. 10 We're grand. All financial and and <laughs> well, I look at it this way. You should stay right now be, with the uncertainty. I would stay around 50% cash and average in like Marco is saying. Yeah, uh, that's I, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty heavy in cash right now. Listen, nobody yeah. can tell you exactly what's going to happen. You have to be, um, you know, it's impossible for me to predict the future. But if you stay around 50% in cash and invest in great companies with the other 50%, you can't really get hurt. Because even if it drops down temporarily, you can buy the dip and really, you know, make out in a couple of years when it comes back. That's what exactly. I would do. Hmm. You can't lose. Yeah? You're half in and you're half out. So you, you're, I'm you're zero in right now. Rolex, man. Why don't you just go against the herd? Just buy Rolex. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, honestly. <laughs> I'm thinking Seriously. about just putting my money into watches, to I'm be honest. I'm buy Rolex, box papers, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Can you really do that badly with Rolex? If oh, you can get a Pepsi at retail, I mean, that's, I, would, I think that's way more safe than throwing my money into the market, personally. It's instant double your money. Yeah. I gotta be honest, with you, I think the whole world has gone nuts. We're headed for hard times. The stock market in my country is through the roof. Real estate. I, cars are selling at retail. I mean, there's no discounting. Mercedes Benz, BMW, you talk about Porsche, there's no discount. All full, full, there's back. Man, it is absolute stupidity. Okay, I, the world, I just never seen anything like it. We've got no international travel. Okay, that's a bummer. Mm. This world is nuts. Absolutely money, nuts. Money is so cheap, you could borrow at like. You know, ridiculous rates. That's why people are paying full yeah. retail for stuff. It's it, the, the interest rates are slow, so low, it doesn't even hurt them. That's what I would recommend for you, Lola. Like, young guy, get invested in real estate ASAP because the interest rates are so low right now. That's what, yeah. yeah. He wants to have fun. He wants to drive his Porsche. We're a Rolex. We're a Pepsi. I'm getting yeah, something in May, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. May, June. I can get you know something. Watch. 
that's low quite X-Men, compelling. You know, the thing is, you might pick up a girl who's really loaded and you could just mooch <laughs> off her for the next 20 years. Don't yeah, I, I don't look like Drew, bud. Uh, I'm not Drew. I can't go pick up some hot girl at a country club. Drew's got a lot of bitches. Yeah. He's banging I gotta cougars. tell you, I always wanted a Porsche. I, I, like, there's been certain cars I've really wanted to own. I, like, I've, I've actually done the Ferrari thing. I always dreamed of having a Ferrari. I used to love the 355, mm-hmm. and I love the, the 360. What stopped me loving Ferrari is, is service costs. Yes. And sticky button mm. interior. Everything seems to go sticky button <laughs> <in> Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. And then I used to love the Maserati 3200s. And I got to be completely honest with you. I always wanted a Boxster or a Cayman. Yeah, I think the Cayman S, they're the sweet spot, in my opinion, if you I have the money. I always thought the Boxster, I thought the rigidity of the roof. That's one of the few cars where the Roadster version is cheaper than the... the Not to interrupt you. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Super Chat, oh, saw oh, yeah. $20. Archie, if you had... If you had the choice to pick one of the following, what would you pick? Here we go. A private jet, a luxury yacht, a supercar, a Patek, Philippe, Grandmaster Chime. Well, look, the thing is this, Sword, it depends how rich you are. Private jet, i got to be honest with you, I had a friend of mine who actually has one, okay? Oh, yeah, sorry, Pontiff, you, you got to miss Super Chat as well from Showcase Ooh. afterwards. It's up above. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry about okay. that. No, no, that's okay, man. That's okay. Uh, we, I think we did that one, didn't we? That's no, while you are away. It came in while you were away. Okay, okay. Look, the private jet, right? A friend of mine's actually, well, a billionaire guy. I, he's, he's, he's a friend. He's a friend. He's a friend. He said they cost, it costs a lot of money, okay? Let's just say 20,000 bucks an hour, U.S., Ten to wow. twenty thousand. That's a, so expensive. The upkeep is so high. A luxury yacht. Amazing. I'd love a luxury yacht, you know. But the mooring fees. You got to run a crew. Upkeep. But a supercar. I'd rather supercar. get a nine eleven. Can't you get a one? jet? Sell the jet and then buy all three of those: the yacht, the supercar, and the paddock. <laughs> 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 I gotta tell you seriously. I think I think myself. Look, I think honestly, man, man, man. What a decision! But the Paddock Grandmaster Chime, like those are like half a million or to a million bucks. I gotta tell you, supercar. Look, the problem is the person who asked that has probably already got a supercar. They've already got some cool stuff that I'd never be able to have. So, man, you gotta work it out yourself. I. I can't tell another man how to spend his money, but I, I, I got to say one thing for sure. With watches, they hold a fair bit. You, can take, you can't take a supercar into a boardroom, can you? You can't take it to lunch with your friends. You know, sometimes small little things. Pana, no one wears a Grandmaster Chime as a daily beater. Come on, Pana. No. no that's, that's, a, that's a good point there. Showcase watches, five bucks, five pounds. We had Rich Buddy run into the riots and jump off the boat. We've had fully armed G.I. Joe and now Top of the Mountain Tim. Only on the <laughs> AC3 show, live stream. Thank you. Greatest show on earth. Thank yeah, you. Lola. Yeah, I definitely guys, recommend get, Lola, a, please. get real estate ASAP. Since um, yeah, um, hopefully. I'm planning May, June, hopefully. By the way, how is the California what? real you estate what, market? Man, you only live once. Right. <laughs> don't listen. To, not on this one, Molo. Like, don't listen to Archie. How's, how's the real estate market in California? With the max exit? There's a uh, low interest Mr. rates two. and no property for sale. Mr. Jesus. Two, listen to this. Eight bucks. Friends flew private. Shanghai to Sydney return. Two hundred thousand. Oh my 000. god. They said they preferred first class or residence suite on commercial airline. Not worth it. Wow. I don't really think the 200000 means much to them. <laughs> Let's be honest. Shanghai to Sydney returned $200,000. That's, that's, that's Bezos' money. 
Yeah, but so the purpose preferred first class or resident suite on commercial airline. Yeah, but the purpose of the private jet is to fly when you want and where you want. Not, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't, ha yeah, you don't have to wait to board a flight. You go when you when you're ready. Yeah. Mm, I don't yeah, think it's point. that easy. Well, uh, I mean, you have to schedule it, of course. Yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah. it's not like you have to, you know, if the flight gets canceled, you don't have to deal with a lot of the stuff you do in commercial travel. Yeah. Let's get Jeff on here. He probably knows a lot about private flying. Yeah, Rolex does those, those corporate. I would imagine Rolex has Rolex. a private jet, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Jeff on Australia to hand deliver that stuff. He's secretly MJT secretly. Oof. Yes, that's exactly it. I gotta tell you guys seriously, I think it it does depend. Snorlax, here we go. Snorlax sleeping two dollars is the dog. China spooning Tim. <laughs> no, no, Tim's by himself there. He's got his Rolex. He's fine. Guys, I feel I, like I have to go to the bathroom. What am I? What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna freeze here. You go <laughs> outside, don't you? You go outside. I have to. Yeah. Really don't feel hey, like. It. Showcase watches two pounds. Tim, I've just taken pajamas off. A bit warm in bed. <laughs> You son of a bitch! I gotta tell you guys, seriously, it depends how much money you have there. Is is there ever enough? I got a friend of mine who's got 44 watches, 27 roll eye, he's got Lang A's, he's got amazing stuff. It's on your head. Does it make you happy? I don't know. I don't know. It's it doesn't make you have a wife in your on? head, Pontiff. Does he have wife, children? Yeah, he's got wife, two kids, Maserati. Mercedes SL CLS, life's good, life's good. But you know, I tell you honestly, I can be have my Civic. And the funny thing is with watches, I think it's a great equalizer because I can talk to guys who got Porsches. I'd never talk to Rolex normally. He'd just be that cool guy, you know. I'd never Art. talk to Tim, but we got a oh, thing. Okay. We got watches. We love these things, you know. It's. Yeah. It's, I reckon watches is a great equalizer. I'm not going to fly private. You know, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, you know, Ponte, that. If, if it wasn't for your videos, I would be wearing the fucking Apple Watch now. You know that? Oh, yeah, me too, for sure. Yeah. Holy shit. Man, I mean, I, the influence you, you had on the youth. Look, it's it's. Uh, I gotta tell you, watches is a great hobby. I think there's a lot worse it's hobbies. Amazing. Than what, yeah, every man needs a hobby. Got a hobby. I think it's the community too. We do like the community. Mister Two, eight bucks. Tim, Tim, use the mini alcohol bottle you have. I'm confident it will fit. Mister uh, Two is on fire today. Oh. Right. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. It's an hour show we've done today. Wrap Thank you so much. Okay. Hey, so we're going to end the show. JJ, hang around there. I want to talk to you. Yep. And guys, I love you all. See you tomorrow. Love Bye the guys. new crew, guys. Bye, Mr. Jim. Bye, guys.